I'm delighted to have my story told because it can affect a lot of people. I hope that uh, we'll appreciate the freedom that we've enjoyed all these many years. I think the knowledge of what's occurred to me is, is important to everybody to realize that that's what freedom is all about, the ability to express yourself and make a right out of a wrong. Let Bob fly. It was the rallying cry for the sport and general aviation community over 20 years ago and protested the wrongs done to one of the finest men we know. And after years of struggle, Bob did fly. After extraordinary sacrifices, we won the battle, but it didn't go far enough. We got justice for Bob and forgot to get it for the rest of us. Now the passage of the Pilot's Bill of Rights II and aeromedical reform are the top agenda items for a sustainable future for general aviation. Passions are running high. But what started all this, do you remember? And do you truly understand why we need to do this? It's not just a third class medical, it's about a system that failed one of our best and all the rest of us ever since. Bob Hoover, who's endured the worst that the world can throw against any man, beaten as a prisoner of war, almost killed testing an F-84D, and most insulting of all, accused of deficiencies and losing his medical via very questionable and unjust process by our own FAA. Bob asked me to document his ordeal with the FAA in my 1999 book, The Air of Injustice. And now Bob has asked me to step up and use all the modern tools available to tell it again, but with all the wonders of the new media age at our disposal, to produce a game-changing documentary, probably a good 90 minutes or so, about his medical ordeal in order to spread the word of the fixes needed to restore this beloved aviation community. Jim, I am delighted to have you tell the story simply because you know more about everything that has occurred throughout this time frame, which was a very important part of my life and uh, one of the worst disappointments I've ever had in my life. And also it's very ex exhilarating in that we won the battle, but it could not have happened without you, your presence and desire to see the wrong corrected. This is the message that must be sent to our community. How did we get here? Why hasn't anything changed? How do we build a sustainable, healthy aviation community and industry? We need action now. We owe it to Bob. And yes, we owe it to ourselves. The effort is an ambitious one. We're trying to build a much larger production staff, raise money, get volunteer support, and harness the industry's expertise in order to make this happen, hopefully by Air Venture 2016, but as soon as possible regardless. We plan a crowdfunding effort and corporate campaigns as well to raise money, gather resources, and build the most important value of all, awareness. The Let Bob Fly documentary program and its associated other programming is designed to help us turn the corner and restore freedom, justice, and access to all those who would seek the freedom of the skies. For Bob, for you, for all those who may someday gather at the airport fence and dream great dreams. Because aviation is greater than the issues we face, and at Bob's direct request and with his blessing, we're going to prove it. Let Bob Fly. It sounded wonderful way back when. It sounded even better when we all came together with a common aim. Let's come together again and build aviation anew. It's important that people realize that we need to stand up for our rights. Uh, that's what our Constitution is all about. <laughs>